Hello and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. I'm Craig. I am Janice. And we're coming to you kind of live this time, a different intro, because we have some exciting news to share with you. And one of them is that we are showing you our favorite or co-favorite yeah. catamaran of the entire Annapolis Sailboat Show. And it's called the... Exquisite X5. Yes. And it's a 50-foot catamaran by a relatively new company uh, by, called Exquisite. And this is only their second year at the Annapolis Sailboat Show. If you saw our old episodes from last year, we loved this boat back then. Yeah. And they've made some improvements this year. So we love it even more. So that's coming up. It's not to love. Sorry? What's, What's not, not to love? love? Yes. You're going you're gonna to love it too. Yeah. So um, the next thing we want to talk about is this is going to be uploaded the morning of uh, October 25th, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. That same day, there's going to be a live event at 7 p.m. on the same Wednesday, October 25th, where we're going to discuss some exciting news that you may have not heard yet, most of you probably have, is that I'm going to go on a transatlantic sailing cruise with Paul and Cheryl Shard from distant shores, from yeah. the Canary Islands to St. Lucia, and... I'm not. Sadly, she's not Stay coming here. with us. They only had room for one crew. Well, that I don't have any vacation for that. Yeah, and I had a bunch of vacation yeah, time saved up. So, long and short, she won't be there, sadly, but I'll be filming it so she can live live vicariously through me, and you'll be there as well when you see the episodes. So, there's going to be a live episode tomorrow night at 7 p.m. where you can ask any questions about how did this happen, how did I get offered this spot, how much is it costing me, and whatever other questions you have for me. And Janice is going to be there live, too, because... Yeah. Because you just like asking Janice questions anyway. <laughs> and on top of that, she'll be there this time to make it a little bit more... Organized. I'm going to yeah. like, keep track of the questions on a separate screen this time. Yeah, we're going to have our MacBook beside the yeah. iPad that's going to record it. And she's going to keep track of, write down all the questions that you guys have so that we don't miss any. If you watched our last live episode, it was a bit all over the map because people were asking questions and we're trying to answer them. And meanwhile, other good questions are coming in. We're trying to jump to those ones. And sometimes we didn't always hit all the yeah. points we wanted to hit. So yeah. this one, I'm going to have my points. I'm going to talk about it at the beginning. Janice is going to write down any questions that she thinks are pertinent. And then we're going to just start banging off those answers to those questions. Yes. One other thing we wanted to mention about the X5 when you see it, Tomas, who you're going to see who does the walkthrough of the boat, does an excellent job. We met him last year, and because of us doing it last year, he recognized us, and he seemed very familiar with us. I just want to make it very clear, we don't work for the company. We're not paid by the company. We don't get anything for showcasing this boat. But there is some familiarity there just because he showed us the boat last year. Yeah. So just wanted to get that out there in case you wondered. Hopefully you enjoy the episode, and hopefully you tune in tonight at 7 p.m. for the live event. Mm -hmm. We'll see you then. See you later. All right. Oh, you want the whole tour again? Oh. Yes, yeah, because last time that. I didn't film you much. I was oh, trying okay. to not I film saw... you. Where do you okay. want to start? You, you take us on the tour, whatever you think. Okay, then let's start inside, too, so, and then we work our way out with it. Okay. So, main salon, okay? The wood is a, is a real uh, wood, uh, lime-washed oak. Yeah. And it's foam cord. All the furniture is foam cord, so it's very lightweight. And uh, here you have uh, two freezers. The freezer has built-in ice maker in it. Oh, nice. And the fridge, that's standard. Uh, there's also an extra bar fridge outside, that's standard. Okay. If you would want more freezer space, then, then these two drawers comes out, right. and we fit one of these extra freezers right there, if you want to. Because okay. this is designed, the space already for it is a very deep drawer. Exact you dimensions you need, right? Yeah. So. Also, okay. here you have, for your video I do it, normally I don't do it, but... That's where the TV would pop out. Yeah, that's where the TV yeah. comes out. Also standard. Wow. Yeah, that's, 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 that's nice. And I remember from last year, a lot of the stuff that you would assume is an extra is, yeah. is standard. No, this is all standard, yeah. because yeah. the boats are not for not designed for charter industry. It's designed for owners to live aboard. Now, who buys a million dollar boat and not have an air conditioner on it, or not have a water maker <laughs> on it, or a washer dryer on it, or an ice maker on it. So right. we just tell you that, you know, the other, some manufacturers do like a very low base price and then everything's additional. We just say, you're going to spend the money anyways. Yeah. You know, my, my concept is like 20 years ago or 30 years ago, you bought a car and then electric window was an option, you know, yeah. now you can buy yeah, you can't buy one so without it. We just said, you know what, we just put everything in and tell you that this is, this is the keys here, turn yeah. in and you take it. So much less frustration, right? Yeah. So, this is also new. Okay. For your video, I'm going to show you one more time. Okay. I'm not going to show the whole thing, okay? I'll just show like half of it because... So, this is a coffee table, a standard. Now, we got some inquiries, people that live in the Mediterranean and, in, and they want to uh, sail in the winter. They don't want to eat outside, they want to eat inside. Right. So, for them, this was designed that the coffee table 
converts oh, to a, converts to a dining table. That's amazing. So it's the same on the other side, and then right. that fits in there. So it's pretty much in, in in less than a minute you open it up, and then you have a proper dining table. Excellent. But normally you would keep it down. That's the normal position, and usually you eat outside. Even the outside, uh, the the cockpit could be fully enclosed. So even if it's raining or bad weather, you can just enclose it and still eat outside. Yeah. This is for like really higher latitudes, yeah. like cold water sailing. That's awesome. No, it's a nice feature. Yeah, the island unit. It has lots of storage and also houses the dishwasher in it. Yeah. The dishwasher is a, a bit yeah. outstanding. But it's got and then the house station the here, a few, sorry, right. few things that I show you, the iPad if you remember the yes, system. Yeah. So what we do here, this is the brain for the boat, okay? Uh, you, you can mo mo monitor and control everything from here, all your tanks, batteries, chargers, uh, solar panels, all the tanks of the boat. You can dim the lights, turn everything on and you can program everything. So it can give you a little keychain remote control for a dinghy. So when you come back to your dinghy at night, you just push the remote that I'm coming home and all the underwater lights and the cockpit light comes up, music turns on, oh my God. whatever you program to it. That's it's awesome. all programmable. But that's that's one of the cool features. You can turn anything like you down in the cabin or you leave your boat. You just push one button and program lots of things. And that's all the iPad comes? Standard. Uh, standard. Comes with the boat, every boat. Awesome. Besides what it also does, you can con you can control wireless your Garmin navigation system. That's also standard. So you can sit here and navigate get your boat or sit up front in the bean bags and you can sail from there as well control autopilot music everything your awesome. yeah, yeah yeah and besides that because that's just the beginning with the iPad it has all their user manuals serial numbers and every single equipment that's on board with their warranty information everything's on it so you don't have to have all those paper manuals that it's wet and it's soggy and it's in Italian you, you know right on the, you have everything right, right on the there. tablet plus it also tells you all the maintenance that you need to do all the scheduled maintenance it's on the app. It tells you every day what maintenance you have to do and then logs the history. We monitor all our fleets from factory, every single boat, and then uh, uh, we see if a maintenance task is, is outstanding or how many is outstanding and give you assistance. Okay. We took it also to the next level that uh, we're creating now a maintenance program for our owners. If they're sailing in the Caribbean, and because it's a complex boat, and they go to boatyard people not really knowing the boat, we rather send out our own technicians from Miami or Fort Lauderdale, where we work with a company. They fly directly out to the boat that they know the boats already. They take the parts with them if you need already, and we service the boat remote. We, we send our technicians to do that. That's awesome. And you were saying last last year too, by having that log maintained, when yeah. you go to sell it, you can say. The whole we've got proof. We've got, they've been keeping tabs on it, and it's been it's been maintained all the way along. It's the resale. Long. The whole resale, we keep it in house. So what we do is, you know, when you want to resell a used boat, it, it it's a headache usually. It can take up to a year or so, and and the price just goes down and down, and you put put money in in maintenance and insurance and docking meanwhile. So what we offer is uh, hopefully we're getting already we're getting a long waiting list for new boats which will create a waiting list for buyers that are immediately want a boat and, they want a boat and even now. if it's one or two yeah. years old but immediate option they would they would uh, we would have a list of that so imagine that you're an owner of an exquisite and in three years or whatever you want to sell your boat instead of putting on a market and start to work with brokers you call us so we first of all have the all maintenance history of your boat we send out our technician to uh, our factory technician to the boat that checks every si system and according how is the maintenance which we try to keep the maintenance ourselves remotely right so uh, depending on that we give uh, an, an uh, uh, added warranty okay. like an extended warranty for the used for the, boat for the so imagine as the original owner you sell your boat in in a week we sell your boat because right. we have the buyers and everything is ready for it yeah. the, the the new buyer is happy because buys a used boat with a factory warranty right. or exquisite warranty right. on it for three or six months, so depending how is the, the boat maintained. And we are happy because we keep the resale, uh, you know, the commission in house. Yeah. You would pay a broker anyways. Right, you're, you're going to pay. Broker, take the right. same money ourselves. Right, exactly. And so the people who come to you are already interested in this model. Exactly. So they're they don't need, they're not coming up a fresh buyer that doesn't know anything about the yeah. systems of the boat. Right? You're not so you're not even going to sell any other brands. We're right. only going to sell our right. own brand right. in house. So that's so awesome. that's kind of the whole concept. No, I think that's a great piece. So it's, it's a good investment. Peace of mind for the buyer to know that it's not going to be of a huge hassle. Of course, and and you know what, uh, that uh, that you don't the value of your boat won't drop from one day to another. Right. You usually buy a new boat that a manufacturer that builds 300 boats. You know the the, the value drops quite quickly. Yeah. We're hoping that that with this system that we came up with, the the value will keep, resale value will keep high. Yeah, it should be. It's great.
Okay, let's continue now. Continue, yeah. This is okay. also new, the suede inserts, as you see, you know, the, the dark suede. Right. This was, was not a number two. Okay. And also new, the dashboard. You, you see all this model, the, the dashboard model, like uh, it's like yeah. we got it from the automobile industry. Curved. That's also new. We made a model. Really like a, yeah. a, a stainless back type thing. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Nice and air conditioned. Yeah. <laughs> the air conditioners are oversized as well. It's 52,000 BTU. 52. Reason for that because first of all, we estimate most of our boats will be sailing in the tropics, yeah. but also because we have all these windows. So there's lots of windows all around the boat to get yeah. natural light. So you need lots of air conditioning. Yeah, so you've got it over In 10 minutes, you cool down this boat anywhere yeah. in the world. That's awesome. So this is our signature design, the four windows, the four gill windows, windows yeah. right next to the bed. So you have a nice view, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when, when you wake up in the morning, everything is hand stitched wide or covered with wood so there's no fiberglass surfaces visible anywhere so That's amazing. very it's a higher quality finish oh yeah for sure we got everywhere international plug points and USB plug points all around the boat so when you're traveling around the world you don't need to use adapters mm -hmm. also uh, I showed you the from the iPad the digital switching system yeah if that fails everything has backup on these boats if that fails you just pop this down and all the electronics, uh, uh, the digital switching components are here. So you just switch uh, a fuse from one slot to another and you have the, the override back okay. for it. Mm. That's nice. Everything's properly labeled. You got all the drawings, everything's supplied to you on the iPad. Easy to work well. with, yeah. yeah. The drawings are in the iPad, oh, yeah. awesome. Everything, all the user manuals, even serial numbers and everything's on the iPad. And were you saying there's controls for the air conditioning on each? Uh, there are five uh, standalone uh, uh, individual air conditioners. Okay. So e each area could be controlled. So if you're only sleeping on this side, you, know, you only want air conditioned this, this side, yeah. you can exactly. do it. Yeah. Exactly. There's also, our generator way. is a variable speed intelligent generator. So what it does, then usually we just start the generator in the evening when we go to sleep. Right. That's when you start the dishwasher, you start your water maker, uh, you start your air conditioning and the battery charging. Now, at that time, the generator speeds up at full load and, uh, and uh, uh, services all these loads that you need. Once the cabins cool down, the dishwasher finished, the battery is charged, the, the gen generator slows down. So it's much more fuel efficient right. uh, uh, because it doesn't need so much power. Right. So it's not yeah. a continuous speed, it's a variable speed generator. That's awesome. Good. Yeah. Okay. Here, you can pose this down here for privacy. So this becomes now the full master seat with the sliding door. And you have storage even under the steps here. Oh, I remember see, that. Yeah, yeah. All, the, all of those steps. I don't want to open everything because well, the owners have their private stuff in here. This is definitely, I don't want to put in the in walk-in closet. The walk -in closet, walk -in they're big, closet. full size. So these go even deeper than what you see here, both sides. It's his and hers closet, lots of storage. And then here, a nice big bathroom. Also, storage everywhere behind the mirrors here as well. Nice big shower. This is also to put your shampoo and other stuff and a washer dryer. And that's what Janice really wants. Yeah, <laughs> it's a full size washer dryer and you can put shelves and everything around. Yeah, she like a little laundry room. She's made it quite clear our boat has to have that. So. Yeah. Okay, I'm falling in love with the boat because of all the technology and the electronics, and Janice found her washing machine, so obviously she loves it. But the jaw dropping features just keep happening. He's about to show us a galley that has more cabinet space than you can ever imagine. This unit that is two in one, it does oh. microwave mm. and a conventional. Mm. Okay. So we freed up the space. So now, I could just show you this all for spices and everything. Mm -hmm. so it's much more uh, uh, friendly for the galley. And uh, they have the two things in one, the two ovens in one. Uh, only this is a yeah, standard the door. Yes. But together it's six And then this is an extra on the door. And the whole, even the original door goes yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. down. So look at how far out that goes. And it's very deep as well. Yeah. It can hold a hundred pounds because it's in very heavy duty sliders. Okay. That is, I think you're the only boat that does this. <laughs> It's because, you know, we, <laughs> you come we realize yeah, you that think about living, storage, storage, living on board, living on board, you accumulate stuff. I have so tough. It's like not even going to spend a week on this boat, was hopefully 10 years or so. Yes, yes. Now, this is the dishwasher here. That's awesome. So cute. Mm. Goodness. And then here you have the gas cabins. And it's nice to have a double full size sink too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we repeat so again the, 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 the four windows. And, and you have these ocean air blinds in every 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 uh, whole window and they're up in the up in the salon as well. Okay. I like all the cabins. 
cabinet. Lots of storage there uh, under the beds as well, big storage areas again for liveaboard. And you have uh, the whole idea that you have all the, the windows and the whole natural light, you didn't mm. want to lose that light, so we added a window there. And also this is uh, straight through, so it, it feels that you're in a bigger area. And the same door works both ways, mm -hmm. for the restroom and then you can use it for the, for the shower as well. So it either it blocks off the shower yeah. or Independent off. air conditioning for this, uh, all for all the cabins. Mm -hmm. This is the aircon. Oh, it's the aircon. Yeah, that's okay. blowing like both ways a little bit that uh -huh. way and this way as well. And there's another cabin there, pretty much similar. I let you let you okay. look around there because it's very, very similar to this one. All right, yeah, the same shower setup with the swinging door. Mm -hmm. And I like the I like the faucet. Mm. I want this boat to go like this. I know this boat is really nice. I want a boat like this. Okay, I like wood. Go with that. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. So pretty. Oh, they're pretty. Yeah, this is the, the world map engraved in here. A pretty table. Yeah, lots of space to sit around. This mm. area you can you leave it as a lounging area, but if you can, if you want, you can put like it up a, as a table yeah. as well. If you have kids or more people in mind. Like and it. all this cockpit area could be fully enclosed. It's hidden, recessed in here. Right. But it's uh, uh, the enclosure rolls down, rolls and down. it's two different layers. One is uh, a mesh. So it keeps you privacy, but it still breathes and keeps the bugs out. And you have a full umbrella layer as well. So all rolled up in the same area. Yeah, it's yeah. on the same. It's just two layers. So and that's we'll just one included. Up. Yeah, it's all standard. Yes. It's all standard. Impressive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And here you have a little sink. Mm, it's a big and sink. the bar fridge and the, and the little bar and our logo and all these LED lights here and there at night. Uh, it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah, and I, I like the location of the nav of the of the cockpit. Yeah, come on, too. Yeah, so it's, it's a sport. So there are lots of improvements we did here since last year. Uh, this completely new this model we, we redesigned this entire uh, uh, home station here. Put a 16-inch display, which is new, uh, electronic sort of control, digital panels for the Yammer, and uh, composite steering wheel. This is all new. The other thing we did new is, uh, you see, for example, this is touch screen, but, uh, but you know that when, when it's uh, sailing in rough weather or you're wet and, and it's salt water on it, mm. the touch screen doesn't work well. So we put a standard already uh, uh, a full control buttons control there as well as a backup. We have also have a, a chain counter, so you can drop your anchor alone. You don't need two people to do that. You know how much you go to an anchor. And there's a hard dodger. Yeah, the, this Dodger is a, no, like a convertible, not a car, so you can slide it down. Yeah, but it has like a windshield, a hard windshield. I mean, like a yeah, lot of boats have got nothing. Real glass. Yeah, that's yeah, a lot real of boats glass. have nothing here. Yeah, this is real glass. We don't even use acrylic. All of the windows and the holes and salon and this all, yeah. all real glass. Mm -hmm. So this is also new. Before we finished this off here, mm -hmm. this slider that slides down. Now we added this extra section, mm -hmm. so now you get more more uh, um, shade. Uh, shade here. But also now it follows this shape and. Mm -hmm. Clears the winch, and you zip up here. We got an enclosure, so you can mm -hmm. completely enclose this area. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're sailing in rough weather, mm -hmm. it's a full enclosure. Yes, it works really, really nice. Yes, and you see all the lines are completely hidden. Mm -hmm. You only got them right here at the winches where you need it. If the this boat sails, just one person does everything. Even the third reef, all the lines are here. Two electric winches and foot switches, so you have your hands free to work with the lines. Oh, yeah. Really, really, really easy. <laughs> easy. And, then, and then they go in the storage there. Yeah, so nice. nothing is yeah. billed up on the floor. Yeah. yeah. You even have like uh, USB and 12 volt plugs here if you use, because lots of people using iPhones and uh, and or phones and uh, iPads and this stuff for navigation and that mm -hmm. stuff. You can charge it here right away. That's amazing. And also for the lines being hidden and in a storage and not out in the sun helps a lot for for keeping, keeping the lines working for yeah the keeping them from fading and, yeah. and, and cracking so if you come here you see the, the solid railing it's really really sturdy and massive mm -hmm. the road. yeah no lifelines actual bars yeah oh. and then and a boarding ladder on both sides you fold this down and you're oh, in nice. easily mm -hmm. the, the boat, board the boat easily. See, all the Wide. I told you, it's a, this is real glass, it's laminated glass, mm -hmm. and it's curved, so it's really 
fancy and stylish, oh, it is very but also safe at the same time because uh, you see you don't have parking all around. It. It's a much nicer installation. And because it's glass, it's not going to get that. Uh, what do you call it? Expansion, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, for heat. Yeah, you know, it expands and retracts. Yeah. And, and usually after after years in acrylic with lots of parking, it, it tends to have leaks. Yeah. And, uh, this one we have on our boat the same setup. It's five years now after thirty-five thousand miles. Mm -hmm. so nice. Hoping for it's going to keep up for a long time. And it seems to be tempted. Yes, the layer, the layer between the glass uh, uh, is uh, the PVB. It's a, it's a, it's also UV protection. Right. And tinted a UV protection is good, so it protects your furniture and everything inside. For the, for the, the sun, that you know, stops the wood from fading. So I didn't have to duck under the side stay. Why? You do not see any lines. Up. All the lines have excess, so for any reason, you, you, if something breaks, you have to replace lines. Everything does excess panels. Everything is easily accessible. So, so. Windshield from. And uh, you have a water maker as standard on every boat, but also you have rainwater collected. Yeah, that was a nice feature. I wanted to make yeah, sure you didn't forget that. that as well. You see that now? We got a little insert. It's a 3D printed insert that we fit in there. Okay. So it keeps the, the, the cap in place and collects more water. In there. Okay, so just for the viewers, I write that. the way the roof's designed, there's okay. an attachment system that brings the water down and it's collected so you can collect rainwater so you don't have to run your water maker quite as often. That's you know awesome. the boat has lots of glass and lots of stainless, so I like to every every sail when you got spray, just wash it off with fresh water. So it's, right. it's a good thing to so collect you, rainwater. You, know, you can never have too much fresh water. Exactly, right? exactly. And also, you see, we got uh, uh, six solar panels. That's also standard, recessed into the coach roof, and you can tilt them towards the sun. Always get the the best angle to the sun. Uh, we see out of these panels almost it's uh, six times 150 watts, 900 watts total. And uh, we see up to 60 amps charging coming from it when the sunny moments and good angle. That's pretty massive that is charge. Very impressive. And the fact that you've already designed them into the roof so that they're recessed in yeah. and you know, less likely of uh, them getting banged. So self tucking jib that I told you very easy to handle and a nice big reacher which is uh, uh, the, the sheets run outside of the shroud. And then all ends up at the electric page. So your inner one's like a normal jib, and the other, other one's a reacher. This is a, like a little small blade jib. Okay. It's quite small for the self tacking. Right. But it's very good in, in heavy weather sailing. Yeah. Very handy. And then the other one is a, we call it a screecher. It's a, it's a big overlapping general. It's like, like outside of the shrouds runs there. Right. You can you can see that downwind. Downwind, great downwind sail. Yeah. But also you can go like 55 degrees apparent wind. You can start using it. Okay. The nice part about self tacking is that you know you can solo sail very easily. Yeah, it's designed as well for simple sailing very simple. That's why you want a daggerboard and yeah. you kept it as simple as possible. You don't want one I don't want daggerboard. She's going to be sometimes, I'll be asleep and she'll be mm -hmm. soloing and I don't want her to act on yeah, the look, it's it's uh, this the industry goes both, both ways. ways. Yeah. Yes. In my opinion, you have to decide what what, you, what purpose you want to boat for. You know, if you want a performance oriented boat or more cruising. comfort, yeah. this cruising. is comfort, luxury, and ease of handling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. For that, but the daggerboard takes up interior volume as well. Yeah. It's like a huge compartment. That's very true. Yeah. Not working. For, that don't work for me. So back here, as you see, I told you, you can enclose the cockpit. If you want to be outside in the sun or in the afternoon, evening, to have a cocktail, you can be like several people fits in here. It's quite large. And you can put the backrest at different angles. You know, if you want to read the book, you can do that both sides. And it has lots of storage. This house is the electric davits, of course, that goes on the radio remote. So you can alone build with the dinghy as well. You jump in the dinghy, you have the remote control with you, hook it up and just pull the dinghy up. It's two electric motors independently working. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also, yeah, this year, we fit the optional scuba diving package. If you want, yeah, oh, yeah, if you want that goes a compressor and four tanks. Yeah. It's it's Can that be retrofitted if we bought a used one? Yeah, and and I want that, so. 
<laughs> we have a, a, a service center in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. and they do all our warranty service, repairs or optional equipment installation, which is a retrofit after That's delivery. Great. And they're really good guys. They're amazing. Okay. It's a perfect location. So how long is this waiting list for used ones? Uh, right now we have the next boat available next May, 2018. Okay. But so uh, if I'm we're shopping to purchase in five years, we should get on that waiting list what in we three do, years what or we four do, years. Which is very convenient for buyers as that we find as the production ourselves you're not uh, putting out any risk for our buyers so what we, we look our, our, our schedule of production uh -huh. and you tell us which uh, which wool number which production number would suit to your schedule and then you can reserve that production slot with 10 percent deposit if it's a far out it's 10 percent deposit and that's all you pay we reserve that slot for you we build the boat for you we finish the production we put the money into it so when the boat is launched test sale finished surveyed and you're happy with it that's when you pay the 90 percent so you be, be happy to take take orders for far far out as well because there are buyers that uh, they know that they are two years out or three years out we can care for them no that's awesome mm -hmm. okay uh, other cool feature here is obviously the barbecue, but then when you come out uh, on, of a swim, you know, living in the Caribbean, you get a coffee. Yeah, shower. Oh, shower built right into the a rain it's shower. Also quite neat. It is very neat. You want to see engine rooms? Yeah, or? okay. Just yes, quickly. Because it's taking up your whole day yeah. here. <laughs> when you have the stereo out here, you notice that on the Yeah, that's also standard. Okay. So you see it's a, a 80 horsepower common rail Yonmore engines. They're quite big to twin 80 horsepower for the boat, but sometimes you need it. Mm. Uh, it's a very, very well soundproofed. We got in our category the most silent uh, uh, boat. It has an automatic fire extinguisher, two levels of bilge pumps, a fuel transfer pump that you can transfer fuel between the tanks. It has a high output of the master watt alternator to charge mm. the lithium ion batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of space. To Sorry, did around. you go back with about the batteries? What kind of batteries do you have? Lithium-ion. Yeah. Does it come with lithium-ion? That's an option. This boat has it. Yeah, that's one it's of something. The but even standard, we fit uh, very high quality two volt jail batteries from Master World. Okay. So you have to put six of them so to get a 12 volt system. Okay. Uh, they got seven years warranty from Master So you're either getting the standard as the gel battery or but, you can. But it's not a standard gel, it's not 12 volt gel. Yeah. It's two volt gel batteries. They like way above the okay. 12 volt gel batteries. So it's okay. very high quality as standard already. But if you want an optional, then we fit the lithium ion batteries. Mm -hmm. And then we have to fit the SI output alternators because the, the lithium ion batteries need a different charging voltage. You, ca you cannot charge them from standard alternator. So you we fit these with an external smart controller. Right. That's a, yeah, that's a easy yeah. So this boat has the lithium ion. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, My name is Pierre. Pierre. Okay. That's awesome. And then the dinghy, Davids? It's electric, I told you. It has a radio remote. So okay. you, you, we, we, we give, um, it's a 12 foot, it's an option, but it's a, 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 as you buy, it's a 12 foot aluminum AB dinghy with a 20 horsepower on and, and that's, we designed the shape of the David specifically for that dinghy. So it fits perfectly, snags, and it doesn't move at all. It's a very nice fit. Right. Oh, so Tamas mentioned something just after I shut off the uh, the, the camera. Yeah, so well, you won awards for this boat last year, and then last year was your first year at the Annapolis Sailboat Show. First year in Annapolis, that's yeah. the first debut of the X5 in the United States. And okay. then uh, we got uh, from Cruising World magazine. Right. We got uh, most innovative boat. Yes, for sure you are. Uh, yes, and then the sail ma from Sail magazine, we got the best catamaran and the best system installations. There we go. So, peace of mind for anybody who's thinking of buying that, you know, these guys who are professionals at, at, at looking at boats have decided that you've put a lot into this. I can mention that both Ed Sherman and Nigel Calder went through the boat systems and they were both very impressed. So yes, very yes. Well, thank you very much, Thomas. You're welcome. All right, thanks. 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 Okay. Okay, here is the spec sheet and the price. Now, don't get me wrong, $1.2 million is not cheap, but if you took a 50-foot lagoon and added all the things on that this boat had, I'd be surprised if you weren't very close to that. It's probably more than we can afford, but five years from now when we're ready to buy, maybe there'll be a used one on the market. Hello! We're back at the Annapolis Sailboat Show, our second day here. Yes. And we got off the exquisite. Yeah, the exquisite. It's a 50-foot. It's kind of a custom boat builder. They only build the, the X5, which is the 50-foot by exquisite. Um, in the future, they're talking about they're going to have a power cat as well for next year, but they haven't got that yet. But we just went on that boat and 
Um, wow. I want that boat. Yeah, we, that's the boat we want, <laughs> if we could afford it. Yeah, um, it has lots of technology in it, and that appeals to Craig, obviously. Yeah, it does. I mean, they and, just think of everything. And also, it has all of my mentories. Yeah, the and more. The dryer, yeah, and more. And more, Air conditioning, water too. maker, little dishwasher. Yeah. Lots of covers in every room. Yeah. Is just thought of everything. They've got solar. Everything he showed us, which was you know pretty impressive. All, everything was standard. So yeah. you control everything from an iPad, all your systems. You have a remote control thing. When you come back to your boat, you can lower your dinghy davit thing so it's already down when you come back. So you just pull your dinghy right on. You can dim the lights and do all this stuff from your remote control. Um, it's a water catchment system, so you catch rainwater and it'll add it in your tanks. So you don't need to use the standard included water maker uh all the time so i mean this it blew our mind so it's more than we wanted to spend and we were thinking we needed to go used but definitely think if we could find one of those affordably used maybe a couple <laughs> year old used one if we're lucky enough that would definitely be the boat for us so it's gonna be hard to go on to the next boats but we got to do it yeah all right so hopefully you enjoyed this episode if so give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe because there's more catamaran reviews coming Companies like Bali, Balance, Outremer, Antares, and one that Janice really, really likes, which is Royal Cape Catamaran's Majestic 530. And again, don't forget to tune in to our live episode tonight at 7 p.m. where we'll discuss my upcoming trip across the Atlantic on a 50-foot catamaran. Until next time, this is Craig and Janice signing off, wishing you safe cruising.